um, all of a sudden pick up a habit of wanting to go out and party all the time. So now I'm not home with you as much. Yeah, I might disturb your peace because I'm coming home late or the job I got now is three hours away. So now I'm not home as much and all that kind of stuff. But if we don't have a conversation and you won't tell me about it and then you wait till six months on the line, you're like, Yo, why the fuck did you take that job? Now I gotta keep <laughs> yeah. doing all of this shit or whatever. We're we, we going through a breakup. It's not, it's not good, right? I'm leaving the house, but you can keep the kid and y'all good. And I'm just gonna go like get an apartment over here a couple blocks away and, and like not many is doing that. So communication, I think Styles said, you know, however long ago, but it's a two-way street, right? Because if I'm telling you something, you know, and you're not getting what I'm saying to you, and like by the time I'm like, yo, you know, this table is made out of, I don't know, whatever kind of tree. And then before Maybe. I even finish off, you just automatically against whatever I gotta say just because it's coming from me. Yep. So now there's there's no way for us to communicate because the fact that it's coming from me, you just don't want to hear it. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Just That. And I go by the name of Chocolate Dad. It's your boy Sire, aka Sire. It's Styles. <laughs> <laughs> this is your man 95. Welcome to another episode. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Like I always tell you, like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a stranger. You know, I'm gonna add something to that. Make sure when you guys go and you listen, you leave a review, right? And, you know, give us five stars. Give us some five star motherfuckers, you heard? And please uh, comment on uh, our Instagram page. Uh, Sai had a question up yeah, there. Yeah, Sai's questions of the week. Yeah, we had a few comments on that, but just keep commenting on his uh, questions of the week. We need to be more uh, interactive on our IG. Yeah, what you think we do all this work for nothing? Say right. something. Don't yeah. let Sai feel like you can't talk. Like, man, Sai had a good right. question. We ain't talking. Shit. Man. Matter of so fact, fast. how about we? How about we do that? How about we start? You know, start the show that way. What do we? What do we? Let's all answer. Sire's yeah, question. Yeah, there you go, week. Sire. Let's do it. When Sire asked, like if that. we ever had made a decision and then regretted it, so what was that decision? Why do you regret it? Oh, so when I was in college, I want to say this was my last year. We was there for like, you know, after you graduate, you're there for the summertime. Mm -hmm. So we went to a restaurant and then we uh, dined and dash. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I'm. This is Delaware, mind you. Now I'm from New York, so that's regular. <laughs> Just fucking walk out on the bill or whatever. So out there, their laws are totally different. Out there, um, they gave me a misdemeanor for that. You got caught. Yeah. 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 I got caught because you ain't dash when, fast I, enough. Yeah, <laughs> when, I, when I dashed, I dashed in my automobile. <laughs> So they got the license plate, they came to my crib. So it was just you? They got, well, yeah, yeah, I just oh. take the charge, you know, I'm the real nigga. I, I, I go to jail for my peoples. So, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't give up nobody. I, I just did all the jail time that I had to do. <laughs> wait, wait. 30, <laughs> 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. So like, how, how, David, how long you was in there for? I know, right? Like, Yo, yeah. I was in there for but, a minute, um, bro. Huh? So you, you regret that? I regret getting that misdemeanors on my record. Their, their laws are different. In Brooklyn, you get a, uh, a summons, summons or something. Sure, yeah. I, I had to pay a summons, and I got a misdemeanor. I can't go to... What's the I charge? What is the charge? I don't know. What the fuck is the charge? The judge is white. F yeah. It wasn't for a judge and all that? Like, yeah. they booked you? Nah, they... So they didn't book me. They came to my crib, and then my roommates told me, like, yo, the cops is looking for you, so I just went to the oh, They ain't looking for you, nigga. Where? Were they there, too? <laughs> they looking, huh? They was there, too, when, when you dashed? Nah. Oh, oh. Nah. So I went to the precinct, and when I got there, he didn't handcuff me or anything. He just wait right here to stand the third, process me. He's like, yo, just wait right here. I could have walked out, but... Was the food good? Nigga, they knew it was you still. Yeah, where you gonna, gonna go? go. Who was I? Who was I? Yeah. It must have been good. Couldn't dash fast enough. <laughs> yeah, he wild. I did dash fast enough. <laughs> Just skirted off, too. Whole time should have been recorded. Next time, you gotta go back to the lot, bro. I couldn't, uh, go to, I couldn't get into Canada one year because with Canada, their laws are different, too. You mm -hmm. can't go to Canada if you have something on your record. What? For, yeah, for I got into Canada. Sometimes they check. They 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 pick and choose yeah, when they want to yeah. stop yeah, somebody they, at they the border. Ain't, they ain't check me though. Yeah, if they, if they stop at that. the border and they run you, it's over. You can't <laughs> go to Canada within ten years of the crime you committed. Wow, 
no matter what the crime is. Wow. Ten years. Yeah, you they don't want you, don't want you to feel it on that free health care. So I missed out on going to Canada. I missed out on a job opportunity when I first got out of college because I lied about it in my... Um, Always lie. In my application. I ain't yeah, going to hold you, bro. You said you got a lot of fucking regrets. No, that one... That <laughs> cold, cold, I know. Cold, that's cold. a fucking... All these, this monopoly. But Shit. all in all, I was able to, to get past it the same... Because it was for the DOE, that last job. So then I wasn't able to get that job. And then I reapplied like two years later and I told the truth and they appealed it. and Because you got to wait five years from you lying on the application. So <laughs> two, <laughs> two years from when I had that job, I reapplied to another DOE job. And um, they, I did appeal and everything, did the whole process, pled my case and that. I told them it was like a dining dash. We didn't like the service, you know. Just made some shit up, <laughs> and then they allowed me to work for the DOE, and then I, I was See, good from there. You are today. Dang. That's crazy. But I do that? regret making that decision of leaving because we had the money. It's not like we didn't have the yeah. money. It was just sweet, you know. Broke the niggas. See <laughs> yeah, yeah. exit. Take it. They <laughs> 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 ain't, ain't never lost. You see the exit? They go out. Yeah. <laughs> they, they really own it like that. They ain't own yeah, it. They just not you worried about it. You definitely didn't plan on doing it because you probably nah, wouldn't, you wouldn't have put your car there. The <laughs> like yeah. I went there to pay, but yeah, then, but it's like if I don't have to. He's yeah. like, oh, this shit's sweet. <laughs> Jeez. Y'all all ran at the same time? Man, you gotta know how to do it. Nah, you, you gotta be it. smooth with it, bro. You gotta <laughs> walk walk walk. You, you, got you don't that. ever yeah. run. I always got the money. What's that? <laughs> you got the money. It's not about, about that. You have to have some excitement in your life a little bit. You don't ever run. You walk off fast. It's the same thing when you go to Target and you keep borrowing stuff. Like, I can pay for it, but it's like, why? Yeah, because if they stop me at the door, it's oh, shit, I ain't pay for this? Damn. All right, let me go back and pay for this. Oh, you don't want me to go back? All right, so keep your shit. You want the cops? What are you going to do? I didn't know. I, ha- I didn't pay for it. It was I an fake accident. almost left. Like, I'll check out yeah. my car. You know, I heard it. thought it was running. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Sorry, you got, what do you got? That was great. Damn, shit. <laughs> Is that many? Nah, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just don't regret shit in life. Yeah. Like, it just, like... Damn, it's gonna have me thinking hard now. Cause so why the fuck would you even keep the question? <laughs> I'm it's not your question. It's not about me though. It's not about me. It's not personal. It's just <laughs> like just nah. throwing the seat out there and let's see what happens. I, right? All right, now, nah, all right. Yeah, um, not reg- I, I won't say regret. Regret such a harsh word, but when I was younger, like 17, 18, and like people was like, "Yo, pop from city jobs, city jobs, get in, get in, get in," and like I don't know why you know this, but I applied and I got into the fire department. Mm. Like to like take the test and all that. Y'all get ignorant, and I just stop answering the phone calls and then go. And I was like eighteen, nineteen, fresh. I'd have been fucking. You were almost over time. I'd have been on my way, yeah, almost yeah, fucking yeah, out by now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I dropped the ball. And I and I look back because it all started like you see a little stand, a little recruit table. And I was like, I was just on something. Let me do this shit. I get spelled it out. Went to the test. I'm like, all right, pass. I'm like, all right. Then I just like just. Just stop. Just, just didn't put the Your test number is still out there. Try to reapply. Yeah. Over. Definitely. I'm too not. old for that shit now. It's over. It's over. It, it, that's good then. I was 18, 19. Fresh. Fresh legs. Yeah, you can Ready. Do it. Yeah, you can now. Do it. You're a different man. person. Ah, yeah, ain't going up nobody ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right that's now. Right. You're like, yo, it's sliding it's down. Like, nobody it's pulled. It's hot at 70 yeah, degrees yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, if I. Yeah. That's Well, yeah, I should have. I should have. I mean. Yeah, I missed out on that. I don't regret it. I just missed out on it. Make you it, regret it? Heck nah. Because I had some, had some, had some dope jobs in my life, so it's cool. Yeah, but you were, you still I'll working out. You've been retired by now. I'm How's you? Way, I regret yeah, nah, it. I'm on my way out. I'm on my way out. Um, I really, yeah, like I kind of was. I said I don't really have. Like I, if I, when I make a decision, it's, I never make a decision in haste. Like I never, like nobody can pressure me to be like, yo, like. I'm going to do something when I'm going to do something. Um, so don't, don't make it something. Because what no, I, no, did, I, I, don't I don't regret. Just, I don't regret. It's just, regret it's just that a I bad did. decision. It was like, just a bad decision. So, no, let's, yeah. let's so that's what I mean. But even, but even still in those things, right? I feel like. So I, mean, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be cliche. Like, oh, everything led me to be here or whatever. But it all actually did. But I think one of, one of, one of the things that it's not like, it's not, it's not just one specific decision. I, it's, uh, yeah. A flaw of something that I, that caused me to make those same sort of decisions over and over and over again, right? In the past, 
I've held on to all sorts of relationships for too long. Mm. And I realized, and kind of what, not, not that, that I stole it from Steve Harvey, but he Steve Harvey, styles. it's funny, see that thing circling around Steve Harvey, so, and he's like, loyalty does have an expiration date, but the people getting my loyalty, it's, the expiration date is much longer than theirs, longer for them. And so I realized that in all, like I said before, in all ships, relationships, partnerships, work, all of that stuff, right? It should have, the benefits should be res, um, reciprocated. reciprocated, thank you. And I, I definitely see like very key situations in my life where it's like, I should have exited way sooner because it's cost, welcome. absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, it's cost me money, um, heartache, headache, or whatever, but. Is your heart broken? No. Nah. <laughs> 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 Steve is about to go to it a whole other segment. Money, heartache, but headache. It's not, but the heartache might not necessarily be because of mine. We're not going to dive into all of that. But nevertheless, yeah, I'm trying to go away from right? you. Steve, you think, I'm just trying to get to you think, know. What you think? You some kind of fucking podcaster or something? Oh, you think I'm just Jesus to Christ! To, I'm, I'm just trying to get to know. I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm just trying to see, you know, who hurt you. Fuck, fifteen years ain't been enough. But not. But like I said, for me, it's just that I've I've learned to realize that. It's okay to just like I, I, I'm, you can walk away from any sort of relationship, whether it's work, friendships, whatever, if it's not what's best for you. Because people, like, people, people. Once you stop being beneficial to people, they'll drop you at the dime of a hat. Mm -hmm. And I had a tendency to, like I said, overstay my welcome. So, so I don't like, do that no real more. Real quick, right? It's, it's, you know, people be like, don't leave a job to get a new job. It's the same thing with relationships. Don't leave a relationship. To nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Nah. nah. To get over someone, you're like, yeah, under someone else. Yeah, that's right, that's right there. Right? <laughs> nah, that's different though. <laughs> that's different. That ain't the same. That's 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 getting under that, that really while you push the other one. Nah, I tried nah. to but I really, but I've, but I've told y'all in the past, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a relationship. <laughs> what are you laughing for? But no, that was that was that was, <laughs> that was that was. I ain't gonna hold you. Ain't work last time. It's gonna work this time though. I know it. I ain't gonna hold you. That 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 was a very slick question. Fuck you. But um, I know. I see what's happening right now. I don't like it. But no um. Nah, I wouldn't nah. do that. I'm not. Nah. But I'm, I've told you in the past, I'm not a relationship type of person. Like, I've had three relationships in my life, and this one is the third one is going to be the last fucking one, so. It is, is what it is. Is the third one? Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not yeah. So, I don't have to worry about that. Senor. Um, regrets? Uh, uh, it's kind of the same, like you said, it's like, it's decisions. I think if anything that I would regret, if I would call it regret, it just mean um, whatever decisions I made because of other people. More so, not for you, because mm. whatever I decided to do. Like, if I look back at certain things I didn't listen to, the person said I would have been fine. More so than it's just, I just. It's like, it's just like the fucking Fando bets, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas yeah, be like, yo, it's, like, it's, it's really just that. Like, it's, it's, because I look back at certain things, like, if I listened to myself, I would have been. I, it's not that I, who know what the situation would have been, but at least I could put that behind me, in a sense, because who cares what you listen to? But if I listen to myself, there's nothing for me to regret. It's like I don't I, like I, I did whatever I felt in the moment in time was right. But any decision that I made because of the fact that somebody influenced it, and it doesn't mean it, it, even in some cases if it even turned out good, that's probably more so like I, I wish I just did whatever I feel like doing in time. I don't have to look back and like what if, what if I chose that decision? Because you don't ever know. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you do a decision, you make a decision, and it might have turned out good, but it may it might even end up better, or it could have ended up worse. But I would have been more comfortable with just I just did what I wanted to do, and mm -hmm. I didn't care what the next person's saying. Um, and it's and even with the, and I this in a sense is it's kind of what you're saying too, as far as even relationship wise, career wise. Sometimes I think I stayed in some situations, in many situations, longer than I had. And I think it was the stubbornness of people who keep saying you gotta keep trying, you gotta keep going. Like nah, I didn't say I was gonna give up. I just stop trying on that. And go on something like I, I I realized I was failing myself by keep listening to what other people were saying. It was it would have been fine to stop trying because I wasn't quitting. I was letting that go to start on something else. I wasn't completely quitting, just letting it happen. But I was too busy listening to other people. Oh, don't give up. I could have gave up and just tried what I really had in my mind to do. If you get what I'm saying, like if I it, it wasn't I was giving up. I was just letting go of whatever that was to start something that I really wanted to do. But I kept yeah. on holding on people saying. You know, you gotta keep trying. Don't let it go. You know those those lines that people love to say to get you out your, out their face conversation. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it, it would be a better day. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Like, I could, I'd rather somebody just say, "Yo, do what you think your heart would tell you." Like, mm -hmm. not, you know, the the, the typical the cliche, you know, cliche shit. shit. Right. Yeah. 
in, in, in talking about decisions and stuff, right? And then, you know, kind of what, what Style just alluded to. In, like, re, in talking about your relationship, right? Obviously, we all have kids and things of that sort. Is there anything that, is there anything that, that could make you decide to either stay in a relationship, or matter of fact, let me pose it this way. Would you stay in a relationship f- just for the sake of the kids, or would you make the decision to just say, fuck this, I'm out of here? No. I well, would stay for, just for kids. Unemployment is high. No, not unemployment. Um, <laughs> child support. Child support. <laughs> extremely high. Unemployment is high too, but that's a conversation for another day. Child support is extremely high. But even with that, I don't know. Like, I, I don't. I don't think I can. There's no. I, nah, there's no way. Just for nah. So even before we get to the point where you would leave if you, for whatever it is, is there, would you be more willing to give it the effort or try for the sake of the kids? Or would, once you're no longer vested or happy, you're just like, I'm out regardless I, of the situation of the kids? Well, you all know me. I, I don't love know my, you that will. Yeah, you know, we just met. <laughs> but I enjoy my peace. So won't you well, be my peace? Yeah. So, so once you disturb the once, once it's like every day I wake up and I'm feeling like, I'm dealing with the same shit over and over again, or I can't get past something that I, 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 I thought I dealt with, there's no way I can be, a kid or not, there's no way I can still wake up next to you or just, and I don't believe in having a roommate. We're not about to just walk around, you don't say nothing to me, you lay in the bed, you're not giving me no ass. I'm not doing that. <laughs> just, that's not, that's, that doesn't work for me. That's off the table. I'm not having a roommate. We're not sharing. No, nothing. It's yeah, either I'm, I'm with we you all in or, yeah. or all out. All, all out. Mm. What, what you saying, stuff? No, I'm with him on that. Is is especially now like that? Like you said, the peace thing. I didn't understand peace like mm-hmm. like a, a, until I'm at this age where it's just like it's priceless. Yeah. And it really will cost you so much, even if you're staying just for your kids. You know. It's, you're never going to be in peace, like, in reality. And it's trash, like, to be in a situation where you don't have any type of peace. You don't sleep. Nothing you do in life with no peace has a purpose, in yeah. reality. Because yeah. you're only doing it. Peace is the purpose, honestly. That's what we live for, in a sense. I don't care how you're going to flip it. You want money because you want some type of peace of mind. You want love because you want some type of peace of mind. You want some, all that. If you don't have any peace, you have none of that that you're living for. So, like you said, it's like I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay in any situation, any situation. I don't care, even work wise. Yeah, I wouldn't stay yeah, in nothing. Anything. I wouldn't stay in anything if there's no peace there. All right, so cool. hold real quick. I'm the type of person, if like, let's say T, T and I are hardly ever argue, but if we do argue, and in any relationship, I, was, I cannot go to sleep like peacefully, knowing that we went, before we went to sleep, we left off on a bad note. It just, just, Something you just have to resolve it. I have to resolve it. Like we have but that to. That could be a negative thing too. But no, I won't force a conversation okay, if the yeah. conversation that's the neg- that's doesn't the negative need to be happening. But yeah. I, it's times that I did go to sleep because I got to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's times that I did go to sleep where you know I felt like we need to talk about the situation and we didn't. But what I'm saying is I I can't sleep like. Right. You're not I, really I'm, having a peaceful sleep. You have not peace. Yeah. You're not peaceful. You're going. You're closing your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Hot, cold. Hot, yeah. cold. Hot. Like, yeah. yeah. I know. Stress. Yeah. <laughs> that stressful I'm sleep. Fucked up that is. Like you stress at in sleep. Like yeah. Like you. Like you know, knowing that you got to get up to go to work or have something. You tired. Yeah. Fucking, you know, you know what? You fuck around and you just wake up extra early. Like you're Son, day. Uh, extra yeah. early. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The don't even need the fucking alarm early, yeah, like, yeah, and then yeah. just get in the shower. Let me let me get the fuck out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> let me get start this day. <laughs> let me start this bum ass day. Yeah, be at yeah. work at eight. No, you already at five you thirty. Got time, you gotta yeah. see your car before you can clock yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get in, and then the first text message is some shit wild. And you looking at the phone like, I just let go. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Sorry, what you gonna say? All right, question to both of y'all, right? No, you gotta yeah, answer. answer. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna answer. Yeah. All right, all right, I hold my question. Yeah, yeah. You said I always got a question. You gotta answer. <laughs> yeah, I got the question. All right, would I stay for the sake of the kids? It, 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 it really depends. 
I would say it would it would it would depend in the sense of first thing I'm gonna think about is my kid. How would this affect my child? Because because if we separate, we go separate ways, then we gotta figure out the whole kid situation. Who who's staying? Like that's a whole that's a whole nother like thing we gotta figure out on the back end. It's not even about me and and and, and her. It's about the kid. What are we gonna? How are we gonna do this? So like that would have to be if that was an option. That would have to be like a deep conversation and like a real transparent, mature conversation. What are we gonna do to like co-parent? But I I rather I I rather not like I'm not gonna keep, stay keep myself in a place that's like toxic, mm-hmm. and because cause once a relationship hit like that point rock where it's bottom. like rock bottom where it's like you know it's no, it's no fixing, like I look at it like this it's like it's like a cut it's like a scar that you, I, I kill a, a wound that can't heal, once you get reach that point, it's over you got every wound and any wound can heal. Not yeah. if you not not if you keep picking at it, you don't get infected, and then that's how you cut mm-hmm. the fucking leg off. There you go. Thanks. Got you, bro. So like, so once you reach that point, then you got to do what's best for yourself. And sometimes, but when you doing what's best for yourself, you got to do what's best for the family in the midst of that. So you got to understand. You can't just think about yourself, yo. I'm not happy here, that I, but my kid, you know, may it may affect my kid tremendously. So I have you have to really think this fully out. I mean, you could still like, still part ways, you know, figure it out, but you, that's something that me personally, I would have to like, figure out how or why, but overall, I'm not staying for the kid, for the kid as an excuse, because we could always, I could always, we could always co-parent great if, with, with anybody, like, because, I mean, not anybody, but like, I, I feel I could, I will, I would co-parent great, because I won't even, as long as it's not messy, Mm-hmm. But then I think I worry about being messy potentially and stuff like that. So that's why sometimes, like I said, it's cheaper to keep her. It just make just make sense. <laughs> but then you're miserable. <laughs> no, I know, no, no. I, but so, but, but so, all right. So it's my thing. So overall, to even not end up in that situation, let's address everything head on from now, so we never have to get to that place where it's it's like that bad. So what what, I, what, what I'm hearing oh. you say is right. Yeah. If we're in a situation and the exit plan is thought out and it's good, you'll exit. But if you feel like it's a situation we can work out, you're going to stay, even though right now you're not happy. 100%. Okay. If I feel we can work it out, we're going to work it out. I'm not going to just hit, up and run off like a couple of disagreements or, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take a lot to be the I.O. This is it. But what would it be based on? Would it be based on you being happy, your peace? Your or uh, or image or what it looks like, like what is it based off of? Like what's the, the relationship? What's like the baseline? For me to walk away? No, not even about walking away. It's whatever's walking away is whatever you're losing to to stay. Whatever you're willing to walk away from is whatever. Yeah, exactly. So if you're losing your peace, you're gonna stay if it's peaceful, or you're gonna leave. Is are you leaving also? Yeah. It's not so you talking about it's peaceful? All right. So like for me, my peace, like once, like. It's a many different things than this peace, right? It's just like peace is like if it's toxic or like you have a certain situations, you know, that's keep reoccurring. Mm-hmm. There's no growth, there's no development, and it, you just, you're just stagnant. That removes the peace. Yeah, if 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 that's the case, and that's and that's happening for a long period of time, because you know, not 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 every relationship is perfect. Not everybody. Sometimes you're gonna be. Unhappy or you dislike don't like the person all the time. Yeah, yeah, like that's 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 normal. But once that becomes a thing where it's like consistent, like if I go fucking six months and I just fucking don't like you for six months, I go the next six months <laughs> without you. You know what I'm saying? Type of thing. So once it once it becomes consistent, and I can't give like a like a, a time frame frame on it, but it's like a feeling. like you like yes, yeah, like like you know what I mean, you you would know that point like ah right, yo, this has been going on for way too long, and by the time you think that you're already probably thinking like what's like your mind's about to be made up. That's when you fed up. And you're already thinking like, all right, this is it. Like we we gonna do we gonna do this and do that and we're gonna talk about we're gonna try to talk, talk this out. And if, if it don't work, I am still gonna part like ways and just hope that nobody's better or no end and we do this mature and grow. Yeah. But it's really it's really all on you. Like it's 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 really all on you on how you wanna like how you do it. Mm-hmm. Um I would not stay so for the sole basis of the children, that that might give me a little bit extra push to 
work on it harder because I know that, like my piece, like me, like me personally, my piece comes from a part of a big part of my piece comes from my family's piece. Like when the family is good, they're taken care of, they're fed, they're not stressing about nothing or whatever. That gives me the peace and also the ability to go out and do more because I'm not worried about the, the, what I call like the frivolous shit because it's just stuff that's supposed to be maintained in, mm-hmm. in the home and the life anyway. But if I were like Lucia saying, we're in a, for six months, I don't fucking like you and it's this problem or whatever. Even if we didn't have kids, we should definitely have a conversation and maybe we can try to go to counseling or see how we could try to fix. Or f- First of all, sometimes you don't know what to fix. Because I feel like if you go that long and you don't like each other and there's constant issues, you, don't, issue. yeah, you really don't know what to fix. Because they be mad today that the light's on or tomorrow mm-hmm. is because the light's off. And it's Compounded like, what the fuck, you issues. want it all, you want it all. Right. And it's, it's a lot of underlying issues, right? And nine out of ten times when somebody's complaining about something, that's, that's just what in the moment, but there's other shit or mm-hmm. whatever. So I would definitely give it an effort, especially if we have time invested. But with dealing with the children, I would also look at it in the future, look at it towards the future, like, all right, like, and my, if, when I make this constant decision that I want to leave this, this relationship, I want to be able to make sure that my, my kids know, kind of what we're talking about with Trader Truth, like, I, my kids know that I gave as much effort as I could to try to make this work. But at some point, like you said, like, what are you gonna just stay there and then always be miserable mm-hmm. or always be on eggshells and always hope just for the sake of being around to see your kid? Fuck it, we can just co parent and we figure it out. Cause honestly, at that point, it almost feels like you're co parenting and y'all just roommates. And that, like, and then now you are s- literally like stuck in a, in a yeah. cell with that person. Mm-hmm. Like, this is y'all house and y'all have to both be here and y'all ain't getting no ass and your fucking food is always cold. Like, you know, it'd be like a bunch of microaggressions and stuff like that. Uh, how about this? Let's flip it now. Because it seemed like our old perspective is all about our piece, right? Say it's opposite now. We <coughs> disturbing. We the what? We disturbing the our lady's piece. I mean, it's always the and, and she, no, I'm saying, we, we say how we, we, we will, like, we not, we're not going to stay in, like, you know, like when our piece is disrupted, we out. So now what if you want to sign that ball and she come to you like, listen, you disturbing my piece and I think it's best. How, how would you feel? How would you handle that? Um, I, yeah, go ahead. See, I mean, the way I feel at this point now is just like, where I look at life for me is that I'm not for everybody. So that you're telling me that I ain't for you. I'm not gonna fight, like, because at the end of the day, if it's like a saying when I, I I say people laugh, I'm like, when a person tells me you I don't make you happy, I didn't make you. So at the end of the day, it's just like I can't give you if I if I, if you don't find peace in me, there's no peace there anyway. It's 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 simple and. If we're looking at it as a, as a child, then we're just creating an image of what peace looks like. But is, is, is it really real? Or is it just, like I said, is it the image because you want to keep a family together? Or is, or is it because you want the, the image of a full fa- you know, a household and stuff like that? But I'm fine. If I'm not giving you peace, then what am I supposed to do? And it's because like, it, it's so easy to say you don't give me peace, but then what does peace look like? Does even your peace look like with me in it? Like, it's easy to say because your peace could just be a man, but it ain't me. In reality, your piece could just be just you with your kids. So at that point, then it's, that's really the same way as is my decision or our decision is the same thing that's respected. And if you're telling me that I'm not, I'm not giving you peace, then you know what it looked like. That's for you to still make that decision. If it looks like without me, then you're not the same thing. You're not in prison. You go go ahead. Like not to go ahead and it's just like fuck it. But so you want to fight. You I'm not gonna fight for something that I know that I, yeah, that is not nah. in control of. It's not. It's, I'm I'm self sabotaging myself and self abandoning myself. If the person's telling me that Chris, you are not making me peaceful, or giving me peace. Chris is not giving you peace. It doesn't matter how you flip it, cut it, shave it, you know whatever. It's that because if, if if the reality is is that if you can't find it in me, then it never was. It's not there. It's non-existent. I the only work is in reality is that. Like I said, what is your image of peace? Like I said, the peace could just not be me. Mm-hmm. And I'm fine with that. And then I'm not going to fool myself to be fighting because I'm fighting against me. Like a person just told me about myself. You just told me mm-hmm. that, yo, you don't give me it. So Chris is not here. So Chris is not going to be the one to give it to you. Unless you're working on and I say that I can't, I, and I'm not saying that I don't have to work on it, but unless you're telling me, Chris, in this moment in time, you know, I don't feel peaceful. And it's this, this, and this. I can, I'm not saying I can fix it. We can fix it. 
Because I'm not just going to be the one fixing. We have to fix it together. Yeah. But then if it's on something like, yeah, you just don't make, I, I just don't feel no peace and it, it's not with you or I don't like this, I'm like that, then, yo, I'm going to exit myself. One of those is not true, it's me situation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, don't, don't fuck with yeah. me with that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's not only that, it's, but it, it is always you in reality. It, the reality it is because some people will stay in an unpeaceful, I don't know if that's even a word, but a non-peaceful situation Google. because, yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, miserable, whatever. They will stay in that situation because of them. Like, it's not you, yeah. it is still me. Yeah. So then the reality is, is that, yo, if, 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 you, if you can't find peace in that person, then it's really your choice you can it's always walk away. Right. I think a lot of people just have a habit of just putting too much power into people. It's, it's yeah. The reality is, is that if you... It, I, I don't have that power to give it to you besides being peaceful myself. Imagine you being peaceful and the person said you can't give me peace. I'm peaceful though. <laughs> so it's like, right, but I think what, what you just said, was, it was, a lot of what you said is, 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 is uh, hitting a nail on the head. But one of the key things you said was like, people have to define what they feel like is their peace though. Mm -hmm. Right? Like what, what gives you peace? Because there's, there's, I think I, I, I find that people conflate peace with happiness. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. Right? Mm -hmm. Because they'd be like, well, if you're not making me happy, then my peace is I'm not resting. So if we not going to out to eat every Friday anymore, I'm not happy, so I'm not peaceful because yeah, I want to go exactly. get that. But, that's, but those things are not mutually exclusive to each other, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like your, pe your happiness is a key part of some of your peace, but that's not all that there is mm -hmm. to it. Because, yeah, we might not go out every Friday because maybe my work schedule changed. So now you're going to leave me because my work schedule exactly. changed? Then, mm -hmm. then you're really not for me anyway. But I feel like if... Yes, my significant other was to come to me and be like, well, listen, this is not working for me, and this, that, and the third. I might be like, well, if you can explain to me what that is, yeah, but if they're like, well, I don't, then I'm, I'm not holding nobody fucking hostage. Yeah. At all. Yeah. I'm not fighting, because kind of what you said, um, I work towards make, doing things that make you happy, but your happiness is not my responsibility. Exactly. Because there's people that you can give them everything in the world. You can give them Gucci, Louis, uh, freaking Birkins, mm -hmm. whatever. And they're just a miserable motherfucker. Yep. There's nothing I can, I can't buy your happiness off. So if you're with me for me and people change, right? So I might um, all of a sudden pick up a habit of wanting to go out and party all the time. And so now I'm not home with you as much. Yeah, I might disturb your peace because I'm coming home late or... The job I got now was three hours away. Mm -hmm. So now I'm not home as much and all that kind of stuff. But if we don't have a conversation and you don't tell me about it and then you wait till six months on the line, you're like, yo, why the fuck did you take that job? Now I got to keep <laughs> yeah. doing all of this shit or whatever. <laughs> and da, da, da. I don't want to do this shit no more or whatever. Voice your opinions in the moment. But now you come and tell me all of this shit. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Listen, man. We can co-parent. You know where I'm going to be at. This is my crib. You let me know. I'll give you some time. You figure out where the hell you're going to go. You're going to see what's happening or whatever. This nigga said, so, hey, this is my crib. The pettiness. <laughs> figure it out. Because now nah, i give you some time. Just let me know let me, where you're right, going to go. Now, now, let's, now, 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 let's pivot on a question real quick, right? Say the situation that y'all going to leave, right? But that, this is your crib. Like, they, you know, the relationship happened. Y'all got together. They moved into your crib. It's not a crib. Y'all went and got together. Y'all gonna leave y'all crib to your lady and the kid and go find somewhere else to live? I would, but I know somebody who would. Who? <laughs> oh, that's not. No, man. <laughs> because in my mind, it's like, I would I, never, bro. My name's on the lease. I'm paying all. Nah, you gotta. Nah, but grow. let's take away I'm, from the the legality of it. Yeah, not why would you leave? Like, ah, right, yeah, it's your house. But why would you? In reality, like, fuck that. Is, your name is on it. That's just a legality situation. But. But why? why would you leave most men, some men, not most, some men, I, I'm different, I'm an yeah. asshole. <laughs> some guys would leave because they want to make sure their kids have somewhere, mm -hmm. have a roof over their head and the mom is not out there struggling in the shelters and, and trying to figure out where their kids are going to sleep. Because mm -hmm. nine out of ten times, we all know it, the mom gets sole custody and we just got to fight to see them on the weekend or however many days we can fight for them. So some guys would leave the crib to the mom because they want to make sure their kids have somewhere to sleep at. Yeah, and I, I, I can respect that. I understand yeah. that. But then me personally, leave, leave the kid with me. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't think me. no woman is going to leave the kid with you. Yeah, I don't think no woman would be like, yeah, you, you, yeah like, I'm going to go figure my shit out. And like, I'm not even figuring my There's shit out. Some I'm out a, there. There's some out there. That's gonna straight up be like, all right. I say, it's, it's, all right, so watch this scenario. Say, say, I both work in great careers. 
both making good money. It's not like she can't go do for herself, but she just goes, you could keep the kid. No, in that case, they won't. But if they, if they do, some women do realize that that guy is more capable of financially supporting. They realize those it, kids. but are they gonna do it? Yeah, that's two different things. What do you mean? Knowing it and doing it is two yeah. different things. You could know it, mm-hmm. but like you, cause some some women like, cause men and women like we we look at shit differently, mm-hmm. right? The woman look at the kids like it's like the most valuable thing, and it's like I'm not gonna, we not together. I'm not giving this man my most valuable thing to like have. There's no way. There's, there's no way. I don't care if it kills me to have this. I'm gonna keep it. Not every woman is like that though. A lot of them. No, I mean I understand. Not every all, but I mean not all, but it's like yeah, any, more any often situation. Maybe I was like, y'all know what? Right. Yeah. We, we, we 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 going through a breakup. It's not it's not good, right? I'm leaving the house. But you could keep the kid and y'all good. And I'm just going to go, like, get an apartment over here a couple blocks away. And, and like, not many is doing that. Like, I, less than, like, 10%. No, nah, I, I, I understand that. But, I mean, like I said, I'm, that was just my opinion. Like, like, because you're coming to me and telling me that you, don't, you no longer want to do this. Because in my mind, we're moving along. Yeah, we might have little trips and falls and stuff like that. But now you come to tell me that, yo, you want to exit, stop the car, you're getting out. <laughs> but don't tell me you stop in the car. And now I gotta, get, I gotta get out. Yeah. <laughs> so but now I'm fucking see, walking and you cruising yeah, along. But I also so you don't see why the kids gotta get out either. Like this, you want to get out, get out. Like, but then why is everybody else suffering for whatever your decision is? That's what I'm saying. Do? Now you you, st- you stop the car, she get out, grab the kids and walk. Are you letting the kids walk? No. See, but that, that's what I'm saying. That, that's that's what, what it comes out to. It, it does. But so now, it, now you end up walking and having her have the kids in your vehicle. That's what ends up happening most nah, of the time. No, but I said, but mama, you I, said, I, said, first. But I said that, I said, I'm not just booting you out. I'm going to give you some time to figure out what you're going to do. <laughs> So we want to stop the car. We can ride, to, I guess, to the gas. We're like, this is expensive. We gonna see what happens. Yo. You know what I'm saying? But you can ride I, to my Uber. So I don't know. We can sit here to my Uber come, but I'm not just gonna but give you a car. I, but, I mean, walk. Yeah, we Yo. joke, but I honestly, I feel like it, 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 it needs to be a very mature conversation yeah, because true. a lot of times in those situations, it's not right. because yeah. you're. you're <laughs> not, I don't feel like, too much I feel like, feeling right, that, that, that might be more of the most height. Those times where you have the most heightened emotions. And it's hostility and whatever. So now it's like a tit for tat thing and one up and all that kind of stuff. And it, it just it just gets ugly. So I, I don't wish on anybody. And hopefully that's not going to be my situation. So all in all, it just boils down to communication. No matter how, which way you flip it, turn it. If you're communicating with your significant other from the start, from the get, and when you start to see the patterns changing and everything starting to be different, you won't even get to that point where everything is messed up. But so something, so, uh, uh, a post I saw, matter of fact, I think I, I have it right here. I mean, it, it says exactly what you said, but there's another key part about communication that people, more times than not, no matter how many times they say it, they overlook that part, right? Hold on, I got it right here. Why are you looking at that? It's, I look at it too, and people say communication is key. Sometimes that communication doesn't even have a keyhole, it's not even locked. Com- comprehension is yeah. key. Yeah. So, so it's just like, you know, it is key, of course, but then it might not even be locked in so a sense. It's it like, says, you know, dope. Um, listen to truly understand mm-hmm. rather than senselessly defend. Mm-hmm. So communication, I think Stiles said, you know, however long ago, but it's a two-way street, right? Because if I'm telling you something, you know, and you're not getting what I'm saying to you, and like by the time I'm like, yo, you know, this table is made out of, I don't know, whatever kind of tree. And then before Bamboo. I even finish off, you just automatically against whatever I got to say just because it's coming from me. Yep. Mm-hmm. So now there's, there's no way for us to communicate because the fact that it's coming from me, you just don't want to hear it. So I feel like communication, you know, is, is definitely important, but it needs to be a two-way communication. And actually, it's a three-way communication. Like, I need to be able to tell you what I'm saying. You say back to me so I make sure that you understand that this Both is what I'm saying. Hand. Because people have often time to say something. And then they'd be like, nah, no, nah, what I meant was da da da. And it's like, yo, mean. say what you mean, <laughs> mean what period. You mm-hmm. And that's really important in, in all kinds of relationships or whatever, especially when you got kids involved and stuff like that. And I think that's a big part of like why people have like baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, or whatever, is because as soon as you see their name pop up on the phone, you're really like, what the fuck this nigga want, yo? <laughs> And it's just, he could just be like, yo, listen, I want to get him some snide sneakers. Why you don't know snide sneakers? You know what I'm saying? Like it's already always like, go, 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 go. So you're never going to have 
good communication because that person just doesn't want to hear from you for whatever reason from the past any which way. So you got you to gotta definitely communi- yeah, I, actively communicate in three ways. I, I think communication is definitely, and what you said as far as is that, but it's just like, I think it's more than, more than too many have a problem of just listening. And um, like it's funny, like, you know, most of the time people say I'm the most quiet is here because I can sit there and listen to all you guys and I can literally go down the line of everything you said because I'm not, emo- not, I'm not emotionally attached to what you're saying, I'm logically attached to what you're saying. And it's not because I'm a man, it's because I logically I'm not you, you're not me. So I have to understand what you're saying. I cannot walk in your shoes. Like I literally had an argument with a person because the fact that I'm explaining something and they're telling me how I'm supposed to feel. Like, hey, you, people do that. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. And, and then with me in a situation like that, a person like that, I cut you off. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm a, a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a repeat over. offender to cut people off. Because that, like, if that's the way you do, you're not going to do that now and to stop doing it later. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. And communication, I don't care what the scenario is. I, I always say you can communicate in every situation. I don't care if you're dealing with, well, we're all human. I don't care if it's the most hostile person, you can communicate with that person. Well, a lot of time when you're dealing with a hostile person, you emotionally taking their hostility, but they don't realize like that that doesn't have anything to do with you. You you still have to understand a lot of people have their own demons that they're fighting, and then you're sitting there trying to fight that demon. Now, that's your demon to fight. I'm not fighting that. And let's talk. Like if that's whatever it is. It's, it's like uh, um, a guy said it to me. It was like a training I did at work, and I used to work like in the customer service. He called the verbal judo. It's like, you gotta give a person the feeling of, you gotta almost walk in that person's shoes, but you never can walk in the person, but you just gotta be able to empathize. And you don't have to sympathize, you gotta empathize, you gotta understand what that person is saying, but you still have to have your primary goal of communicating both ways. You, could, you may not like that this table was brown, but then guess what? The reason why it's brown is because it's wood. Wood naturally comes in a brown color, like that. I don't care it's not brown. I understand you don't care, but, but that's just what it is. I'm not disregarding you. I understand you don't care. I understand why this. Like, I could talk to almost mostly anybody, but there's some people that you just cannot talk to. And I just choose not to talk to them anymore. And it's not because I can't communicate, but mm-hmm. the thing is, it's not a, a healthy communication. Mm-hmm. And I only find myself when I'm um, introducing myself or adding myself to unhealthy communication, again, I'm abandoning myself. Like, I know I can communicate. I know that's not an issue with me. I know I put words together. I know how to sit back. I'm a, I'm a great listener. But at the same time, too, I know how to not listen when you're not listening to me. Mm-hmm. And that, that's a lot of time when I, and I start getting into arguments. And the moment that argument happens, we ain't arguing no more. Because you're just going to talk to yourself. And I literally will shut you up. And the thing is, it's not like the, the unhealthy situation where guys will say, yo, she's giving me a silent treatment. I ain't giving you a silent treatment. I'm literally, you're done. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, I'm not continuing. You're done. You're done. Because... It. Because Keep the fact though. that it is, is that we're not, because what's going to end up happening, I'm going to keep on talking, you're not, you're not going to keep on listening. And I'm going to be more upset that you're not listening, not about what you're saying, the fact that you're disrespecting my communication with you. And, it, like, and there's almost a point sometimes, I've been in a scenario, I'm like, yo, I'm, I don't want to talk right now because I want to fight. <laughs> and, and I would say it, like, I want, but that, that's me communicating. Like, I, I'm, I'm not talking right now because I want to resolve. The person has to understand that. You got to be like, yo, like, you know what, let me not talk right now. And it's like you said before. You're not going to force somebody to have a, a conversation. That's still part of communication. If you could communicate... Nah, sometimes they try to hold your hostage. Yeah, but that's what I'm stuff, saying. That's still yeah. communication. Is if you could communicate that, yo, I don't want to talk right now. My mental capacity is not going to make me resolve anything right now. I'm communicating to you right now that we're not going to be able to communicate. person got to just accept that. But a lot of times what a person would do, they would, you know, follow you. They, like you said, you start getting this stupid text message in the morning. They start reeling you in. That's not <laughs> communication. That's That's antagonizing that's just mm-hmm. you know you, you you're not communicating you're literally creating an unhealthy and then what ends up happening you antagonize the person to start talking what you say you say some shit that they that just just put them to shut up so you can understand <laughs> what i've been trying to communicate to you like mm-hmm. i always say the biggest thing in communication shut the fuck up like honestly that's the most important part of communicating shut the fuck up and listen and don't get emotional get into much emotion like when a person says something Understand what that person is, is, not understand what this, but take a moment in time and understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling and what the person is saying. Because mm-hmm. I could just say, yo, have a good day. But then you, you could sit there and say, yo, man, fuck, have a good day. Like, I'm having a bad one. But understand the person is just trying to give you energy, just hoping that you have it. But then a lot of people just kind of sit there and say, what the fuck he's so happy about? Like, they literally mm-hmm. create everything. Take a moment in time mm-hmm. and understand what that person is trying to uh, um, give to you. I get it. You could get all upset. All the time, you could be mad, whatever like that. But yes, you, you're mad. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the other person. <laughs> what that little girl was saying? Oh, you mad? You mad? <laughs> you mad? Because it's just on you. It, it, 
it, it's it's funny. I have a good thing on you when people be mad at me. I'm like, that's just that's the you problem in reality. It's because it, I can't correct it. Is is uh, uh, somewhere I read it was just like you you have full control on what you want to feel. Mm-hmm. It's just like anything in life. Somebody punch you in your face. You have a moment in time to decide: Are you gonna punch this person back? Or are you gonna walk away? You start thinking about your life. Like you start saying the decision. You have full control on what you in in your. It's not about even controlling your emotions. You have full control of you. Like Steve said, like my peace. That's that, I still come back to the, the whole peace thing. So it's just like people. Sometimes people don't want to communicate because they don't even want peace. <laughs> a lot of times. No, well, you don't gotta fight. go. To, we don't gotta go to Styles Corner today. I know. I probably. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't think we have shit. Yeah, you, you just you just, you just shut me down. No episode. Sorry about that. You know how you paid number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. How you paid? No. Not. Hell no. You know that's Bobby. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Yeah, you fucking jerks. Yeah, I think it's just assholes. Yo, can't yeah, fucking stand yeah, that Steve, was, bro. That was yo. That was great. Don, did y'all see that crazy shit in uh, on the news in Atlanta? Matter of fact, the, what's his name? The director of Black Panther. Oh yeah. He went to the bank. Obviously, you gotta be masked up and all that shit. Try to withdraw some bread, and the black bank teller thought he was trying to rob the bank. Yeah. And they after they checked his name, uh, bank card, all that kind of shit or whatever, to get handcuffed and whatever in the bank, son. Nah, Ch- nah, Chadwick nah, Boseman is rolling over his fucking nah, you know brain, what happened? son. No, no, no. Tell you what, I, you saw the, it's, it's two parts of the video. They they released a recording of a 911 call. I didn't catch it. Oh, didn't my didn't God. I'm going to play it for y'all. Oh, my God. It's worse. It, it's, it's bad. So, look. It, this is so fucked up, right? Because she called 911, right? Oh, she solely called 911 because she felt uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Straight up. He gave his car an ID. She said she didn't she, even look at it. She never looked wow. at their ID or the car. All she said was, it's from California. What bank robber you know is giving you... Slip you a note. So his whole, his whole thing was taking out a large amount of money. He wanted to be discreet. He didn't want to speak. He didn't want you to put the money through the counter. that People would get hear it. He wanted to get fucking robbed, mm-hmm. which is fucking smart. You know what I'm Very, saying? Yeah. So the whole thing on the last thing on that call, the number one call, the operator, number one operator said, "I think he just being discreet, but wow. I'ma send the since you called, then I'm going to send the, the, the cops there." So the whole time the, the operator is questioning her, and you can hear the operator is like, I don't, like also like, "Yo, I don't know, if this is like a bank robbery." Because she said, "Have you checked his ID?" She said, "No." She said, "So." Why, why haven't like you know like why haven't she was like I don't know but really the fault of this I feel like it's the manager mm-hmm. she went to the manager because she felt uncomfortable as a worker he went to the manager the manager was like the manager probably said oh yeah call, call the cops you know the manager probably, Michael White they the, told you they said I it, didn't get that it seemed, it seemed I think she was I think I, I know think, the cashier was black I think the manager was black because I think when he was walking out she said good job guys I wow. think that was the manager. Yeah, that, the, that, that was a video that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She said, yeah, Good yeah, job. Yeah, she yeah, said, yeah, You had a hair. She said, Good job, guys. And, like, she was so certain, like, like, like you was that you, confident. So, <laughs> got so turf. really, That's I blame the manager because, like, before I get to that point, right? Because, one, if you did all that, right, you left from the, your, your, the teller, went to the, your manager, and this, this robber is still sitting there just chilling. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, he's what? not doing anything. So, like, you do that to the manager. And the, the robber's manager, sitting there like, I'm, I'm robbing this bank today. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, and the manager don't come back and, and like, the verify manager don't verify anything. Yeah. Y'all just went back and said, you feel, you feel uncomfortable call the cops. That, that's mm-hmm. the protocol. And I just, I'm trying to understand, too, where was the threat? Like, in, like She the, was pregnant. She felt like if anything happened, she felt like she's going to lose her baby or herself. So. And he slipped out her. He gave her a note. But on yeah, the, he on wrote, the, it's he not wrote a note. them out on the box. The, no, no. The, no, he felt the like a girl slip. slip on the back of it. Said he said be discreet, and he said, and she said, asked him a question. He said it's on, on, on the paper. Like he kept saying he yeah. didn't want to speak. He literally didn't want to speak. He came in, give you a withdrawal slip, put his card and ID. Hey, fucking fuck, are you talking about here? And I wrote, don't be. I want to be discreet. Give me this amount because he was going in to get twelve thousand yeah. dollars. Like that was it. Yeah, just twelve thousand. Twelve bands. That's not no cr- son. She wild out. That is not no crazy. Asked for 120 money, or some shit. Like, like, like I'm thinking they're going there. Like yo, man, let me get a half a mil. I mean, nah, you I can't get that out of a bank anyway, but yeah, twelve thousand. That's 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, some shit. You just go to the manager, manager, write it up, and just bring out the twelve thousand dollars. Son, twelve thousand dollars is not, when I was in the bank. Twelve thousand dollars is a regular. All right, how you want it? You want how you want it? 
Especially doing like a business million, transaction or something. Yeah, like that's not that's not a life sure, changing amount of fucking it, money. The sad part is, like, I, I don't even think she even got to the point that opens the account. She probably just sold mad bread. <laughs> like, like, probably just sold like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You, you'd be like, oh, okay. In my mind, I'm playing like all like the worst case scenarios. Like, all right, he had a hat on, glasses, a mask. I don't think he even had a hat on. Yeah, he had a hat on. Uh, well, he no, did. He had, a, he had a scully. He had like a green scully. Yeah, so he had on. Oh. Yeah, so he had a hat, mask, or whatever, right? So you really can't see their face. So it's hard to take somebody's ID and be like, let me see your down. eyes. I, right, well, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just putting out all the worst yeah, the possible on. fucking ways that this could have. I don't fault been. him. I know I've seen people never, faulting no. him. That's what's so what, weird. What he do? Ooh, that's what I'm saying. What he did? No, but he no. But people were just faulting because, because of the fact that oh, you you sliding a thing right, and then right. his hand right. I saw stupid. See, stupid because I can understand like all right, fun. if he just slid you a note and he's like this or whatever, fine. But he giving you his bank card. He inserted the card. His and he ID. Put it in the yeah, that's what I'm saying. Telling he, you he please be discreet wrong. or whatever. I mean, I don't, I also don't understand why he couldn't speak. Well, I mean, that's, that's not the point. This this that's not the fucking point. I had a bad experience, nigga. That's nigga, what I'm saying. He he said in the video. He said. There was people behind him, and he just felt like if he just said them out, it was just going to bring mad attention to it him. Mm-hmm. Well, he wouldn't have... I mean, like I said, this is whole, wholeheartedly on those two individuals and, of course, fucking police and shit. But even to be discreet, he could be like, listen, this is my withdrawal amount, but please don't say it aloud. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he could, you could have been. But now, but now you say that, that you can't say that, but so loud. You can't say that because now I'm in behind. Nobody. Oh, what was this nigga pulling out? Shit. Yeah, you know, yeah so like you shit. But you, I can't yeah, 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 yeah. I can't hear you. Say it. And then had that mic. Uh, well, I don't know how the bank was set up, but you know you have that mic that they talk yeah, to yeah, and everybody can hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the intercom. Yeah. Oh, so he did. He did the best that he could yeah. do in the situation. You know why? Because I'm sure. I'm sure it, what he did. He done that before. That's why he, he said he did. Too. He, he did was so that. comfortable yeah. with, with doing that. He said this all the time. Yeah. What he need to do is say fuck Bank of America, take his money out, and don't ever put any dollar in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Never. That's a fact. Matter of fact, we fucking at the end of the next fucking Black Panther, make sure nobody fucking use Bank of America no more. Cause Blow up mad fucking Bank of America and Black Panther. <laughs> Blowing up every Bank of America. <laughs> Only in the movie, please. Yeah. But yeah, you know, that just that just really hurt me because just thinking about, I hadn't I hadn't re- realized what the how, the amount was, and t- like twelve thousand dollars is not a lot of fucking money, yo. But she, like, she, was, I just, get she was just shook. But you I'm rich, just nigga. Nah, yeah. I'm just thinking like. Even right, I, right, even right. just I twelve bands I give me. So we hold twelve bands, that nigga shit. I got it. Yeah, shit. My fan dudes is shitty, just like y'all. Um, I'm just thinking, like, yo, like us raising black children in society or whatever, and like you go to a bank doing everything else you got to do, and you still got to be put in this like, position. Yeah, saying, and it's like you don't know what's right. Yo, too. like, like it's just it's just fucking ridiculous. Because quite honestly, like white folks can just you could have walked in there. With this fucking dick out, I'm like, yo, give me the money. And they would have been like, okay. And it's like, what the fuck, mm-hmm. bro? Like, it's just so disheartening, especially somebody who means so much to society. That's mm-hmm. why, obviously, we are making, not making more, but using it to shine more light on how fucked up shit really goes. It's just really, it's just really, really fucking suck. Like, you can't just go to the bank and get your own bread or whatever. It's interesting. Like, something I want to I say, and then I know I got to put a disclaimer because I know people like to get real, like, sensitive or whatever. I love being a black person. I love being being black, but it sucks sometimes. And I don't mean it sucks as I don't want to be, mm. but it's just the concept of certain things that you have such a, like there's certain things you just don't do because you're concerned about being, because you're black in reality. Mm. Like, let's say you, we said to say, oh, why, why couldn't he talk? But let's be real, you, you go into the bank, you have money. Like you think about it, you have millions of dollars in the bank. I, honestly, let's be real, do I really have to talk? I'm giving you my bank statement, whatever. But, why you have to talk now because you're black? You gotta show your face now. Even if for him being discreet, who's like? Let's be like some people don't have that threat in a sense. Mm-hmm. Like you could literally just get the money. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna take out fifteen thousand dollars, and then you just walk in your car and you go your way. But I be feeling some st- certain things just so attached to just being black. Like simple things of you go to the store. Yo, sometimes it could just be that the security person is doing their job, but then you're back him out. Yo, you follow me because I'm black. Like everything is always. You, you might, might not want to say that, but it, you, you we move differently in every shape, way, and form because you're black a lot of times. Just see the Amazon commercial. That so you know they, oh, they yeah, want they want to start bringing yeah. up like um, basically you when you as soon as you walk into the store or whatever you scan like your yeah, barcode or whatever. Yeah, I see that live. I see the actual commercial. But 
Right. This, well, I mean, I guess it's not technically a commercial, but the skit of it or whatever, right? And then watching it, obviously it's funny as shit. Yeah. But that's like also so fucked up that that's really the reality. The reality of it's like oh, I, I see can that. just What's that? What's so basically that? what they want to do like you go into the Amazon shopping like the grocery store, right? And there's no checkouts. Oh yeah, it's in DC. So you just put the stuff in the cart or whatever, and they automatically know like you know pressure pressure plate sensor or whatever, and mm -hmm. automatically charges you for whatever the item is. Very innovative, obviously, you know, the wave of the future with everything going on. But in the, there, every single black person was like, uh, <laughs> so what do I pay for this? Mm -hmm. Like, no, you don't pay for it. And the mm -hmm. black lady was like, no, 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 I always pay. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And it was even like a... A guy at the end who left the money. Yeah, Keenan, yeah, he, he left me in the bag of chips and he's leaving. This is a like, tip. <laughs> this is a tip. But then the... I'm like, leaving the tip. The, 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 fun, the funniest one, but the, also the craziest one, right? So there's an interracial couple. So it was a black, a black woman and a white guy. And she's walking around the store and she's like, can you, can you get... Oh, I want this, whatever. So he's like, oh, I get it. So she's like, no, can, can you? Mm -hmm. like, he's like, but she's like, no, you fucking take it. Like, because mm -hmm. she you knows, like, it's just so fucked up that, but it's a parody on, can it really even be a parody? That's real fucking life, yeah, though. Yeah, it's still real. It's funny because, I don't know why, I guess it turns funny because it's on the damn <laughs> Saturday Night Live, reality. but it's, it's real. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable to do the damn thing, honestly. Mm, except for Target. <laughs> I, know. I love Target. Because even the simple thing I've been trying with, I don't know, with Walmart, Target, and I'm walking out, and the person's like, oh, I gotta check your receipt. And the person's probably checking everybody. I'm like, why you gotta check mine for? Like, I'm really just automatically, like, why you feel that way? I'm like, and it's only because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm paying for an item, but you automatically have it. But don't get me wrong, sometimes it'd be moving funny. And then it'd be the one person that walked by, whether white, black, I mean, not white, white or, or woman, man, or whatever, walked by. I'm like, oh, why you ain't checking them? And it's just like, is it is it is it that is it or is it not like it's always a 50 50 you never even know when it when it's us you know what i start doing now when people do that like i walk in the highest store and they think like i i question them because you know you, you put the you, attention on them now yeah you like, hey oh you you oh i need help now mm -hmm. so help me now and I, I just start making up shit, make them look for the back of shit. now I'll make your dumb ass work now you want to follow you want to walk yeah. you got the time you're gonna be walking up. I'm gonna act for shit. I don't been I'm like, oh, it's some some shot. No, you not don't got. But I'm gonna say it to you because you want to follow me. So now you about to be tight now. So have fun now. Yeah. Hey, hey, you got this in the back in the size 13? No, yeah. he go check. Cause 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 you can't. Yeah, no matter. Can you check? Oh oh, oh and the system said he got one. Well, can you check in the back? Man, like, I'll, I'll be right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bring, my champ bring my champagne too. And, yeah, now, yeah, and yeah. now, now when you leave, you call my else to come watch me. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Um, can you go check for this size now? Just keep sending them motherfuckers. They're gonna be tight, like yo. <laughs> now, I've, I've, done, I've done that in the past, and you know what else yeah. I do too? Like when I finally actually like pick up whatever item I do want or whatever, I don't. I like, you know they be like, oh, who helped you or whatever case may be. I might be like like the other black person in the store or whatever. <laughs> but no, oh, yeah. no, no, he's an ass. No, him. Like mm -hmm. they gave me my item or go to them or whatever. Because yeah. this is so fucking senseless and it's like, yeah. even in this day and age, it's still something that we just gotta look at all the time. And another thing I want people to also, you know, uh, before we start wrapping up, be mindful of, right? So, what I what I really the kind of guest, not kind of the guest that I really really want, not a particular person, I want. A New York City police officer to sit on the couch and talk with us, like somebody who's not afraid of all the bureaucracy mm -hmm. and all the bullshit, give you the political answers, like yeah, you know, all that kind of shit. At the end of the day, policing is fucking um, is reactive, not proactive. They don't fucking deter anything. Somebody gets shot on the block and then they, after they get shot, mm -hmm. they sit on the block for two fucking weeks. Yes, and it's like, yeah, the, the, did you the, think the, that the they're gonna the return back yeah. here <laughs> and fucking commit the same crime again? The kids like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, but now they, you know, Mayor Adams. And his initiative now, they basically got, I forget what they call these yeah, fucking yeah, cops, yeah. but they putting them back out on the streets to stop with this, you know, stop and frisk it, shit, looking for guns and all that is kind of stuff. Is it stop and frisk or is it just... I mean, like, they're not calling it stop shit, and frisk, but, they, but yeah, the same it's though. basically to get yeah. guns off the street and all that kind of shit, whatever. Sucks Which, don't get me wrong, I'm all for getting guns off the street and, of you course. know, doing as best as we can to uh, uh, mitigate gun violence because it's way you freaking do it. done. Either way you do it. But I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I need to, like, I want to have that kind of conversation because at the end of the day... The people in the communities that they are going into, who they are supposed to be helping serve or whatever, the ones that are the ones they that they're going to more so terrorize than anything else. Because when I'm going to get on a train every morning and it's bums and homeless folks and all that kind of shit, <laughs> I'm boring you, Steve? <laughs> shit, man. I tell you, the guy wants to fucking get paid. What the fuck? Um, 
I, mean, I know we, we want to wrap up in a second, but I, I, I want to have, I, for anybody out there we're reaching out, I want to have that conversation and, and figure out a way that we can actually police correctly or, or a better approach to it. Because I just, I just know what's, I was, I've, we've all been victims of stopping person the yeah, path before sure. and what that leads to, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let's um, get our dad and tips of the week done and then uh, we can skate up on out of here. My dad and tip is to own your peace. Mm. That's it. Sure, sweet. Took my mm-hmm. idea. I want to get your damn thing. Damn, Steve, home. how you doing like that? Man. Who's sleeping on it? <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> that peace. <laughs> uh, hi. Um, all right, my dad and tip of the week would be. It's gonna sound crazy, but fuck it. Try to always make it work for the family. Try to make what? Always work, make it work for the family. Always give it an effort. Simple as that. Always, don't 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 give up. Just just give it a shot. Cause it's family. Like, wh- what are you gonna do? Leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now you you destroyed your family and you could have fixed it. Or tried to. Yeah, always try. Uh, my dad and tip of the week. Don't underestimate your kids. Mm-hmm. You know, like Jax is one, and you know you always want to run and stop to protect them from like climbing on some shit or, or touching something or whatever. But I've been finding myself more and more like um, getting back into my groove of cooking, which I enjoy. And I have him in the kitchen with me, so like I sit him on the counter. If we're like stirring something on the pot, I let him hold the spatula and stir. If we're breaking eggs, help him break the eggs or seasoned food or whatever the stuff is with the salt shakers and the seasoning and whatnot. And now to the point like he loves going to the kitchen, like using the air fryers and all that kind of stuff. And I was very apprehensive at first because I'm like, nah, I don't want him in the kitchen. I don't want him around knives and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. But like the very first time like I helped him hold a knife, like he has like like You mean he hold a knife already? Not by himself. But yeah. Uh-huh. Like when we cutting the vegetables and stuff like he's like he's engaged and he knows what he's doing. So I say don't underestimate your kids. Um help them to safely explore. But don't don't underestimate them and stifle their growth. Hello, ACS. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Hey, Steve. What does Steph say? Go to the room. Yo, it's like an yeah. asshole. Little <laughs> boy Damn, holds his no. knife. You I'm hear just, that? Just That's stump, a, he wants to get paid more than all of us. Uh, He's crazy. Be mindful of people that are around. It's pretty much something I put. I put a quote out at the time. Just be mindful of people that are around. That's trying to get to know you to use what they learn against you compared to people that's trying to get to know you to be a better party. I hate them snake motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, you know, a lot of people have a bad habit. Like, you no, know, it's always a funny thing. Oh, Chris, you're so private, but it's just like, why do you want to know so much? A lot of things is like, in reality, everything is private if, is, unless you decide you want to lay it out on the street. And, uh, you know, why are you wanting to know everything? In a sense, like, are you trying to know certain things to be better part of me, or are you just using it to have something against me down the line? And that goes for anybody. It's, it's friends, family, significant others, strangers, everybody does that. So um, just be mindful of people and their intentions. Um, and I mean, add, add, and the end part of that is, is that uh, everybody has, no matter how the sun hits people, they all have the same shadow. And, you know that same type of personality, so mm. be mindful. Like, I like I'll leave that. it at that. I ain't gonna IG keep that anymore. Like, hey, leave it at that. Yeah. What the fuck else you gonna say? Damn, bro. I, know, I was gonna do uh, the Bible today, man. Corner, but they nah, kicked me out the corner. Yeah, nah, it's not, nah, it's because we're going to um, but, we're going to start size nah, question that's of the it, week. No, 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 no. Size question it. of the week, bro. Question of the week for the people, man. For the people. See, we since we answered this already, there's no we so can't right. answer this. We we can't. Answer it next time. So the question of the week is going to be, would you stay in a relationship for the kids, for the people? We gave our view on it. It's stay time. Fair enough. Make sure like, Steve, like that, Steve? Top paid uh, podcast over it? Wow. Top five security of the world. It works. Personally. For the world, Craig. That's a fact. Um, everybody out there, we appreciate you for tuning in. Like, like we said before, leave a review. You know, give us some five stars. You know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and such. You know, get us up there, man. We're trying to go to the moon with this one. Um, make sure you guys uh, comment, answer uh, Sai's question. And get we engaged. will see you guys next time. Peace.